Okay, this is uh, my attempt to show you the proper way to use a four-jaw chuck to drill your pin blanks. Now, if you have a blank that's perfectly square, if each side is equal, it's uh, not as critical the way you put it in. You've got the spaces here. I could put the blank in, tighten it down a little so we can see. If, if it's the same size on all sides, then all four of these will make contact and this will be centered. However, if you've got a blank that's not square, you absolutely must put it in there between these jaws if you do that even if these two jaws don't make contact and these two contact it then I'll at least be on center on this plane it may not be, depending on what shape the, the uh, blank is, it may not be on center on this plane, but you'll at least be on center across this way. Now, I'm going to put a drill bit in here, and then I can show you better what I'm talking about. Now I've got a drill bit. This is 2764th drill bit for the Sierra, Wall Street, and, and a few others. But you can see now I would be perfectly in line with this part of the blank. And I'm going to stop and uh, get a blank that's not the same size and show you what happens when we... Now, it's plain to see that this is not a square blank. It's quite a bit wider this way than it is this way. So if I put it in there, unless I'm mist mistaken, if I put it in there and put it in the, the slots this way, now I'm clamping on this surface but I'm not clamping on this surface. Now I will show you what happens. I'm not centered this way. I'm, I'm centered on this plane. But if I put it up, do you see where I'm going to drill? I'm, I'm way over, going, it's going to blow out on this edge. Because I'm closer here than I am here. Now, let's see if what I think will happen if if you if you put two Now I'm, I'm, I'm touching here and here, it's worth clamping. This is way off, see? And this is way off. Clamping on these two surfaces. Let's see what does that do. If I pull my drill bit up, well, if I'm looking down right here, I can see that I'm centered between these two edges. If I turn it here, how about that? I'm also centered between these two surfaces. I'm going to go ahead and drill this and let you watch me and see how much difference it makes.
Now when that goes to squealing, it needs cleaning, so I'll back it out. Build up heat. You're going to ruin your blank. Reach the end of the threads on my lathe. that thing back and get it a good distance away from my hand because that point is just sharp as a razor. A lot of people don't like to use these bits. This is a show it up where you can see. This is one of the some people call them brad point. Some people just call them pin drilling bits. But they're sharp even on these edges. That edge is just sharp as a razor to keep cleaning and cutting the the blank. And they they just work excellent. Now they are more expensive than an ordinary drill bit. But I find that they do a good job for me. And uh, that's all that counts to me. You don't get a blowout. You uh, get a good clean hole through there. I don't know why that camera's not jumping in to focus. It's picking up on something else, I suppose. But you can see that's the back end of the blank. It's a good clean, good clean hole, both ends. And it's that that hole is straight. It, it's uh, it's gonna it's gonna turn down good. I'll put the tube in it when uh, I get ready. I'll put it in and get it glued in. Then uh, it'll it'll turn out good. I I don't know that I'm fond of this white blank. I'd rather use uh, this blue one. I'm going to go ahead and drill it while I'm here.
always hold that chuck when you're backing out. Because I have uh, had occasions where I'm not holding it and the chuck has come out of the spindle. That can get kind of nasty. There we go through. All the way through. Clean the bit. This is not a real good uh, blank. This is one I bought. And it's kind of rough here. And I don't know if I'm going to try to use that or not because there's a bubble right here that's into the hole so I don't think I'm going to use that blank uh, however I could uh, I could fill it with super glue it's only going to be just a smidgen right there and I might slide slide it down far enough to get away from it completely I'll try and see and uh, we'll see what happens.